call on both of y'all. We can have you at the same time? No. <laughs> no. You ain't heard the song Shoot My Shot? Yeah. But I be wrong to want to fuck you with one of my niggas. If afterwards I promise okay, that so I'm gonna look at you different. So let's get into shoot your shot. So you you said fantasizing about two dicks inside of you. And without Because it wrong, ain't that like say you my woman, right? Uh-huh. And I'm giving you that dick from the back. I can't see your face. Even in the mirror, that's cool, but you know. If I'm a Dixman and my partner a Dixman and Dramatic affect me, please. What did that man just say? We both in this bitch busting you up. Like I wanna see dick, I wanna see you ain't stick your tongue out so your throat open all the way up so I can throw this bitch in. That's some throat. wild shit. That's every woman's I ain't gonna say every that's a lot of women's fantasy secretly, but they have a fear of being judged because niggas be judgmental and women be judgmental. They mm -hmm. just not all the way free spirited. Mm -hmm. But if you go to like other countries and shit, you know that's a, So is that considered normal. like a threesome or like a train? I don't like the word train. That's like a bunch of when I think of train, I think a bunch of niggas just lined up coming and running through a bitch. No, I'm talking about two men that got the same respect that I have. They look at this woman like a goddess. Like you eat her ass, I'm gonna eat her pussy, big boy. We about to make this bitch come. Like that. Like we both loving on this bitch. You know. I'm like, speechless. You lick I don't even feet, know about, what to say. Hey, you lick her feet. I'm about to feed her dick. Oh. You know, like, like, we about to. Okay, so boom. The first question I have to ask concerning this video is, is that a lot of y'all's fantasy? My man said the majority of women, this is their fantasy. It's your fantasy to have a threesome. Now, I agree with Gay said I don't like calling it train. I don't like calling it a train neither when it's two men and a woman. But for one, I don't agree with that, period. But when it comes to, see, men like to use the term train because it makes the woman look some type of way when it's two men versus a woman. But when it's two women and a man, and a man, men like to call that a threesome. No, they are the same. You don't get to say that because you want to look at it like, oh, we dog and the woman, we running the train on them. And then when it comes to two women and a man, you say we having a three, you ha you having a threesome. No, they dogging you. Call that a train too. Now, this is what I want to address when it comes to this video. My guy said his tongue in this area, the other guy tongue in the other area. But the area that he was speaking on, they're in close proximity of one another. So I want to know why you licking and he licking. You basically, he looking at you, you looking at him, y'all looking at each other. And the minute, because there is a possibility, Gates, we ain't gonna sit here and act like it ain't a possibility for your tongue to touch his and his tongue to touch yours and yours and y'all tongues touch each other. But let's just say, in that scenario, Gates, that this man tongue touch yours. Do, 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 you, do you stop right there? Or do you just keep going? Do you keep going it, it just, just based on the pleasure for the woman? Do you say to yourself, oh, she probably liked that me and him, we 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 both, we both right here and the possibility of our tongues touching each other is going to make her like it even more. Th that don't make you feel some type of way, Gates. It, it, when, you, when you watch this interview, cause you, you probably ain't going to see my interviews. So I'm going to ask my people. Y'all mean to tell me when he watched this interview, he not going to realize that he basically said that he was okay with the possibility of his tongue touching another man's tongue. And then there's another thing I want to address. This is when it comes to the disrespect of the women. I, I don't understand how it, it, it's okay for you to call a woman out of their name, but make it as if it's okay and it's cool. He called her a goddess. He talked about pleasing her. You know what I'm saying? He talked about making the woman feel good. But then he referred to her as the B word. Like that don't make sense. How you calling a woman a goddess then at the same time you disrespect her? Like that that don't even make sense. Man, they, they, how you calling a woman a goddess? I guess you're trying to associate it with, with some kind of power or something that, that she that it's okay for her to have two men at one time and that pleases her. Now, now I'm gonna say this. And and you and if you take it as disrespect, you know, I, I I don't apologize. You know what I'm saying? I say this very unapologetic. If there's women out here and that's their fantasy, that's that, that what's up. Cause all of us have some kind of fantasy, you know what I'm saying, some kind of fetish, you know what I'm saying, some kind of idea sexual uh 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 whatever in our head. But 
if that's in your character, if that's in your soul of who you are, like you don't think that's a problem? You don't think it's a problem that you that you can lay up with two men and and, and it go that way? And, and it, I think that's that's crazy. Same thing in a different scenario. Any man, if if a man is laying up with two women. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how fun it may sound. You know what I'm saying? How much pleasure may be involved. That's selfish to me to a certain extent. Now, I ain't doing no sharing. I'm not doing no sharing. Now, you know, this is mine and all mine. It's no way I'm just going to, especially if it's a woman that I'm into. Have I had my fun back in the day? Yeah, I had my fun. But I was in, I'm between the age of 14 and 18. You know what I'm saying? Before I went to prison. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it, I don't think no way, it ain't no way possible right now that I, don't, I wouldn't enjoy no training. I wouldn't. And then I'm going to tell you this. I'm not even laying up and chilling and kicking it with somebody to work. No, because if I'm kicking it with you at this day and age in my life, it's got to be more than this just uh, friends with benefits. Like, that, that ain't, I date, I'm dating to marry at this age. You know what I'm saying? I'm listening to a multi-millionaire talk about his sexual fantasy. Now I do understand when you get in the industry and you you get that type of money and you and you have access and and that many options to the world. I do realize that it can it can mess your spirit up. It can mess your soul up. It can, it can, it can throw things off. You like like you start you start creating a whole new world in your head because of all of this access. But see the world speak. But see the words speak on that. You know what I'm saying? The world talk. You know what I'm saying? The lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the and, and, and the pride of life. See that that's what you hear him explain and he explaining it to the world as if it's acceptable and it's okay he wants the younger generation and whatever generation to embrace this concept of two men and a woman and a woman and we pleasing them and we gonna make this come he no 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 that that ain't okay but then he'll turn around and tell you, he'll turn around and tell you that that he believe in Allah, he he, he believe in he believe in the Quran and this is that. That 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 just don't intertwine right there. That don't even make sense. That don't even make sense that he would speak the way that he's speaking. Like, like, come on, bro. Like, what what we doing? Like, really what we doing? Because this video is based on influencing you. Whether he do it or not, whether he really with it or not. Whether he really real lived that life or not, as you can see, as he talking to this woman, he really looking for a certain reaction out of this woman because he trying to plant a seed in her head. He trying to paint that image in her head and make her say, "Oh, that's lit. That's hot girl summer material right there." I we have two men like that. He want women to listen to this, and the women get in their head and say, "Oh yeah, I want that." That's what he wants you to do. Vice versa too with the men. That's what he wants you to do. He wants you to believe that that's cool. That ain't cool. We, you, you, we, we're not doing that. It's no way I'm going to lay down with a woman, my homeboy or whoever. He up here. I'm down here. We both licking. And it's a possibility of this man's tongue touching my tongue. It just ain't going to happen, Captain. And it ain't, and then it, it ain't no way you gonna ever hear me talk about a man's pigmentship. It, it, it just ain't gonna happen. You ain't, you ain't hear me talk about no man's pigmentship. What, what we doing at that case? If that's what you like, we we sick of. We sick of. If that's what you into, bro, we need for you to come on out and say what you really want to say. Because because listen, man.